All right, here we are at 2832 Inlet Cove West. Uh, here's the front facade of the house. That's back towards the entrance. Across the street where the power poles are, that's Mockley Road. Um, decent little bit of... Morning. Got a little rock bed here. Yeah, good space between the neighbors on this side, which is, which is pretty cool. Got good space there. You're at the end of the lake here on the left-hand side. We'll see a little bit more of that when we go um, around back to see the patio. See the pre-drills. This is what I was talking about. The pre-drills that would that came into effect with building code in 2005. So they built 2005 or later. It's required to have it. If it doesn't have impact, class. Okay. Laminate count. Laminate floors here. They seem to be in pretty good shape. I looked around for any, you know, water spots or any swelling and there was, you know, minimal. The, the walls throughout definitely have some spots. I don't know if they had like a curtain rod there or something like that, but you know, there's spots throughout all these walls that need, that need some TLC, right? In other words, there's a curtain rod there. Um, you know, this front room, you can obviously make good use out of it. It's good space, but it's just, you know, to me, it's just a little bit of, of uh, it's not what people are looking for nowadays, right? People want that great room effect, uh, but it's a, it's a plenty good sized room. No crown moldings, you know, it's just real plain Jane inside. There's not, there's not a ton of upgrades in here, right? Recessed lighting, even the ceilings kind of have a strange sheen to it. It's like they painted over it, but did it in like here, you can see how there's different, like I said, you know, how you can choose between satin and eggshell and all that. It's like they touched up, but they did it in two different sheens. Tile floor here in the kitchen wet area, you got pantry closet door here, pantry. Um, you got a little kitchen desk here. There's a drawer that's just totally out and missing there. And all these cabinets, it looks like they repainted them with like that, I almost want to say it's that like chalk paint. It's just got kind of a, again, it's just got kind of a funny, see that, see that how it glosses over? It's just got kind of a funny look to it. Um, here too, you can see it here real good. Let's see some overpainting there, some drip. So it looks like it was chalk paint that they used. You can see it real good there. Just they're just real nicked up, real beat up. Again, nothing, nothing paint can't fix. But I'm just trying to point out the things that would need some TLC. The appliances look great, right? Newer Whirlpool there, Samsung here. This is Frigidaire, so none of it matches, but it's all really nice. Um, this is the part that, you know, from a layout standpoint, it's always a little bit strange to me is the master bedroom here in the center of the house, back to that same laminate. Um, this room shows kind of small, but it's got, you know, this big four post bed in it. Um, got your just kind of cheapy faux wood blinds, which is fine. Decent size little walk-in closet here. And then master bath leaves a little something to be desired. It's got a tub, which is nice. There's a toilet, funny little light in here. And then those have dual sinks, same countertops that are in the kitchen. Pretty plain as far as the mirror and the light goes. And this is the part that worries me until they've recocked over it. This spot back there in the corner that has seen better days. Just the way this thing is caulked, and there's a gap there, there's a gap here. I mean, to me, I wouldn't feel comfortable trying to, this is a plastic paint, right? So that plastic paint has to get ripped out. You know, you lay down some type of tile underneath there, and you could probably just run a border, you know, probably keep, you probably keep the white, and you maybe remove it from this top. So you remove that bottom edging because it, there's gotta be some water behind there. You know, that that worries me extensively and I wouldn't feel comfortable as a homeowner carrying that on because, you know, with water stuff, I know I had it with my shower. I just don't mess around. A you know, black mold can get back there and I would, I would not feel comfortable 
leaving that the way that it is. So um, the shower, I would say you probably, I don't know, three or four grand just to be safe, just to be safe. I don't even think it would cost that much, but like, you just never know. Um, little things around here, just that, and you, that's, you know, again, you can just put a piece of caulk through there. So, you know, we do have a garage fridge, we'll have to see if they're keeping that around. There's a door access to the outside. There's all the shutters over there in the corner. The guys obviously in landscaping to some degree, we got all kinds of equipment out here. Pull down stairs, they don't have a drawer for it or a handle for it, but there should be access up there. Here's your AC. We'll do a little research on if they have a seller's disclosure. Really nice washer dryer, right? Top load on the washer. Could use a little clean out. And we'll go to the back part of the house. Same laminate floors. We did see this, so you know, she kind of jump out at you as familiar. Big TV. Again, they just got nicks. Got nicks down all the walls. You know, some here. You know, even the paint job itself, you can see it's bled through a little bit. It's not not the greatest paint job in the world. So anyway, I would just get the whole place repainted, the other stuff with the doors. That's on like all the doors. Here and here and here here you know somebody tried to touch up and just didn't use the right paint you know cabinets are beat up down there it's, like i said it just every, everything needs a fresh coat of paint you know tub's not in bad shape they're missing a stopper there that looks like it's been replaced that looks like it's been replaced at some point they put a fresh bead of caulk down here they even put a piece up uh, and they put a piece of baseboard there but no they didn't but they just they ran fresh caulking down there, which isn't a bad idea for, for a tub. Um, and all these bedrooms are pretty similar, right? There's three of them over here and they're all smaller. Um, same flooring, number real big, each has their own little closet. Again, just the paint job, you can tell it's just really <laughs> kind of accent wall over here that's green. It's just, this whole place needs to be repainted, right? It's a baseboard back here that, and that's discolored. And then last bedroom. Okay. Again, none of this stuff is major. I just want to point out the things that I noticed that I would probably do. Um, I know the walls are going to get beat up again, but it just, there's just too much going on here, you know, that I, I wouldn't feel right about leaving every, you know, they had, some of you had curtain rods up at all these windows and took them down and just did a poor, poor patch job. Really poor patch job. The cabinets, I don't know what they did with those, but the only thing I can figure is they used that. A paint that wasn't really meant for cabinets and it's like just collecting all kinds of marks. Um, here's one of my other, you know, negatives when I was comparing the two was, was the smaller patio. The other one on the other house goes out, I would say at least twice as far deeper. Um, this door is pretty beat up here. Yeah, nobody, I think you said something about the pool. Um, nobody's really brought the pool out on this side. You know, this edge of the pool, or sorry, this edge of the lake. You know, water level is pretty low, but you know, you can see a lot of the other houses on this side. It's, it's nicer this way. Started to finally get some rains here in the past week, which is good. Um, but on this side, let's see if I can go out a little further. You can see one guy's got a fence line two, three houses down. So you can see how far you're allowed to come out. So that, you know, if you took that fence line and took it down, it would go down, I don't know, probably to about where I'm standing. And you got plenty of room for a pool. I don't, obviously, you can't build a pool on, it has to be on the flat ground, so either they add up or just do it. But there's plenty of space down there, right? Nobody, it's funny, nobody really along this stretch has pools. I think I, I two doors down does. This house ends a lot further back. All right, sir. Um, I think 
that's about it. I covered as much as as much as I could. You know, they got some duct tape holding down that screening. Again, minor, 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 but you know, all in all, you're gonna have to put a decent bit into it as compared to the other house to get it ready. I would say 10 to 12, which is really why I'm kind of saying, you know, you gotta hit it for that 375 to 380, I think max. So, I don't know, think about it. Let me know what you wanna do.